Hello and welcome to Fairweather Trains. Today we're going to be looking at an Airfix locomotive. Let's just uh, roll her into camera there. Here she comes. Now this is the rebuilt Royal Scott uh, in the LMS black livery. Uh, named as uh, Royal Scots Fusilier, I believe. I think this was made from about 79 to 81. And let's get in a little bit closer here so you can see. Um, what I love about this one is I love the black finish. It's like a satin, nice satin black colour. Uh, and it's got the pinning and the lining. Um, all looks very nice. It's a tender drive loco. As you can imagine, with a fixed or the tender permanently coupled to the to the loco to give it a bit of better conductivity there. Um, like a lot of Airfix ones, it's a little bit noisy, but I've certainly heard worse. We'll give it a run in a minute and uh, test that out. Um, before we do that, let's just see uh, how much she weighs, because I think weight on on some of these. Locos can be quite important for to help with the pulling power. Um, so let's just drop her on the scales there and have a look, see what she comes out as. That is 362 grams, which isn't too bad for one of these. There's certainly a lot like a lighter locos around that um, uh, that are much much newer than this. Um, has traction tyres on all the tender wheels. Um, if I can get her back on here, we can uh, get her moving. It also crawl a bit, and the motors are pretty good in these, but um, they can be noisy. I guess that's because they're so old. Uh, let's just give it a little test up the, up the track a little bit there, see how she goes. Yeah, not too bad, it, and it will crawl a little bit. Bring her back. It's not too noisy, this one. Not too noisy at all. Bit of a bump there, probably because I didn't put it on the track, probably. Um, I like the handrails, the whistles and that there are, are metal. Quite nice, nice double chimney on the top there. Um, Nameplate there and some good looking valve gear. But again, it's the, it's the colour that did this one for me. They do another. Royal Scott, I'm not sure, I think that's green, um, but I just like the colour of this one and it, and it runs well. It was a bit noisy when I first got it, but a bit of oil and stuff sorted that out. Um, let's have a look, we've got the box and the paperwork, let's have a look at the paperwork. Airfix railway system, maintenance for your Royal Scott, 460, information on the brushes and the usual how to get the tender top off, that type of thing. Yeah, where to oil it. Usual stuff, where to lubricate. And I'll just show you the box, it's just the standard Airfix box really. The blue one before it went GMR. The blue box down on the end. It just says Royal Scots Fusilier. I guess that's the catalogue number, the 54120-O. I don't know to be honest I guess that's what it is so let's let's see if we can get a run in a little bit I've got a I've got a small selection of, of uh, coaches for her to pull there and let's see how she gets on with these let's follow her around for a bit There is a slope on this track, well actually it's on the floor, so I can't do much about it at the minute. Um, so you won't, you won't get constant speed running at all. So I don't have a feedback control, I'd use a Morley. Um, but it does give an extra test for going up and down hills, slopes, what you can pull, what you can't pull. And I think she runs rather nice, I don't think she's ridiculously too loud or anything. Um, would I recommend one of these if you can get it cheap enough 
I think I paid 15 quid for this, and, but I do see some people trying to sell them on eBay for 80, 90, which is crazy. Uh, yeah, if you can pick one up for say 20 quid, as long as it runs, you can do quite a bit of work on them. They're quite easy to work on to um, get them running better. Uh, amazingly, some of the uh, smaller airfix locos in the same period had five pole motors in them, um, but they're still a bit noisy. So they're the gearing I guess but not a bad loco at all um, what's she pulling she's pulling a Batman CCT as the first one the second one I think is a LMS Express Parcels coach I'm not sure who makes that uh, Hornby Palethorpe sausage wagon and an old rather nice old Wren six wheel Guinness tanker there Heavy Ren wagons are uh, quite heavy because they're all metal. Uh, but lovely things. I, I do like the Ren wagons. So let's just let's just pull her in here. Seems to be go so the uh, the really old Lima crossing there, which has plenty of plastic on it. Uh, it seems to handle that okay. Yeah, it's overall a nice load of well, well worth whatever it was I paid for it, the 12 quid or something. Well worth that. Uh, let's see if she'll get across that at a slow speed. Uh, it's not too bad. And um, we'll bring her around once more. Let's see how much of a crawl we can get out of her. Well, she's got a load on there. Let's just have a look. Just the speed a little. Yeah, not too bad, I don't think. Not bad at all. So, overall, I think uh, not a bad loco at all. If you can get one cheap enough, I'd recommend one of these if you don't mind possibly having to do a little bit of fiddling with it to get it quiet. Um, but it does run well, it does run well and uh, I think quite a nice, good looking loco myself. Anyway, thank you very much and see you next time.